Hi, I'm Regdrin, and this is Stone of Triumph. Otherwise known as the other guy. I really wish I had chosen Stone of Shame as my username. And here, here we are at the second episode of Newcomb. Get them before they get you. And my fleet is just about the same as it was last time, except that there's another dreadnought towards the lower part, so I moved some of my firepower from up to down. But my design is mostly the same. I did add an extra beam laser to two of my ships. What an astonishing change. Everything else is nuclear, of course. Mm-hmm. Now, you mentioned that you don't really use radiation. Why is that? Uh, well, I didn't know that the display was a lie. Oh, you thought it didn't stack? Yeah. Ah, well, okay then. But you didn't miss out on much. On any map that has shields, well, uh, no one uses radiation. Mm-hmm. Because it's useful only against hull, and that's only one uh, of, the, of the three ship layers. Right. So, uh, let's watch what happens to those fighters. It's because of the uh, problems we discussed, this is going to get a little bit ugly. Oh? Well, yeah, I did mention on how the radiation pulsers from my frigates are also pretty good at hitting those gunships. Oh, right. So I hardly even need my flak. Mm hmm And... I don't know, do you ever see online challenges in the, the no-shield zone? Um, uh, they pretty much all have shields. Yeah, well... I, I guess they didn't want the battlefield to become too simple, mm -hmm. maybe? Well, it's the challengers, um, uh... It's the challenge designer's uh, choice of um, uh, what uh, field to use. Yeah. And now this this dreadnought, I was sort of afraid that it would tear up my cruisers, except that's what the uh, EMP missiles are for, so it turns out not too much of a problem. Uh-huh. And wow, those cruisers disappeared pretty fast. Yep. Of course, one of mine did too, but holy crap. Mm -hmm. I mean, wow. That that was from full to empty pretty fast. Uh-huh. So, uh, that's the map, basically? Uh, more or less. Uh, I was actually a little disappointed, because I was hoping there'd be more time to talk about things. For example, now, the, the Kralgarisk, I really like their uh, post-battle win quotes, some of them. Like, well... War is horrible, and killing people is horrible. Huh. Now let's start the next war. Mm -hmm. Research and okay, so what's our uh, next map? The next map is a uh, actually uh, one of my personal favorites. It is the huge map. Oh, I think I know which one you're talking about. Malvastax Alpha. And for this map, I'm switching back to the Terrans who are the arms dealers of the galaxy in this game. While normally I'd say this qualifies them as evil, in the gratuitous space battle setting I'd say they're just sensitive to demand. Mm -hmm. Now I've modified some of my ship designs, so for example the dreadnoughts have less shields and more weapons, because now with this new strategy I'm not counting on them to tank everything. Ah. And also, fully combined arms. You got uh, fighters, frigates, cruisers, and destroyers. Yep, and uh, dreadnoughts. Oh, yeah. So every level of ship here, probably the way the game was intended to be played, whether and although I'd say it's probably not the most effective, it is kind of fun to watch. I think. Also, this particular map seems very popular online. Yes, it is. And let's go over a few of the reasons. The, the most obvious one is that the credit limit is high. 140,000. And uh, when making a custom map, you can't go above 100,000, which is, I think, a, a bit of a disappointment. Mm -hmm. The other thing is that, that is the anomaly is cloaking is disabled. No one ever uses cloaking. 
Well, yeah, if you're cloaking, you're not shooting, and you can still be shot. Yes. Uh, but even if you couldn't still be shot, l let me put it to you another way. In Master of Orion 2, there is a weapon that puts enemies in this status of not being able to shoot or be shot. And it's really effective because it lets you split the fleet, fleet up. Uh huh. So why would you do that to yourself? Oh dear. <laughs> you wouldn't. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention. I'm going for shield disruption again. Because I saw a fair deal of support ships on the enemy side. Mm-hmm. Now, I still have torpedoes on my dreadnoughts because they do okay damage to hull and armor, and just in case, for whatever reason, the shield disruption does not work. Mm -hmm. My fighters are mostly escorting my ships to kill enemy fighters with the help of tractor beams. Although, if they happen to survive, uh, the pulse laser ones might be able to get in some okay damage against hull. Also, uh, this is another example of the enemy using bad orders, because all of their frigates just completely rushed in. I mean, they do have the best speed for uh, small ships, but that, I don't think that's how they're supposed to be used. Uh, you would never use them that way in uh, the original. Yeah, so how would you use them? Uh, in the original, I would set them as escort uh, targets. Okay, so uh, escort, not formation. Correct. Ah, that's right. So that they keep moving around and get their evasion. Mm -hmm. In this case, I don't have any particular escort or formations for them at all. The reason being that they're all using sniper beams, so they'll hang back naturally. Mm -hmm. And I found that without the formation, they tend to get less tangled. Hmm. And my choice of going for uh, lower shields and higher armor for my dreads turned out to be useful because they like to use lightning cannons here, so my shields wouldn't hold up anyway. Mm. I really wanted lightning cannons to be useful because I thought they were kind of cool. Well, they're never going to be useful. Well, there might be some mod that fixes it up. Are you thinking about making a mod? Uh... I, I might talk to someone else who makes a mod. Uh, one of the things I was considering for modifications was fighters, for reasons that we've discussed before. Ad nauseum. So if you were going to fix fighters in this game, what would you do with them? Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to have to uh, think about uh, a... an answer that isn't just make them less garbage. Okay. Oh, it's a more of a where do you start question. Huh? Yes. Because they're not... For most people, they aren't really fast enough to evade most things. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are a ton of uh, anti-fighter technologies uh, that can really destroy them no matter how you design them. Right. Well, uh, you think about that for a while, and in the meantime, I'll tell you my idea. Yes. Which is, uh, cut the cost by, oh, 90%. Just take a digit off of all of it. Make them essentially free. So that the main restrictions are pilots, which no one paid attention to before, and uh, carrier bays. Mm-hmm. And with that, I think it would be easier to find a place for them. Ah, because then you could put torpedoes on them and not worry as much about a waste in cost. Yeah, fighters, fighter blocks are going to be expensive um, uh, in uh, this game no matter what you do. Right. Uh, I, I did run into that. What would you rather have, a cruiser or two fighter wings? Cruiser. <laughs> well, that, that was sort of... You didn't have to answer that one. Oh, and I checked um, on my fighters, and I expected them to all be dead at that, this point, but surprisingly a few of them survived. Well, they kind of did their job. Well, you, whatever. I didn't have to worry about their fighters too much, even though I had only a handful of flak. Mm -hmm. The main 
thing in a, a map like this is that they save space because I can put them anywhere on the pre-fight map. Ah. So, uh, looks I like actually find it's a neat touch that you can right-click on something and see how many fighters are docked with it for repairs or refueling. Well, it looks like this map is pretty much over. Well, yeah, I guess it is. Their, their dreadnoughts were just sort of late. Um, and and this is why you have to uh, you can't completely make them uh, I don't know point zero one speed or whatever these are or unless you built your fleet around that strategy yeah your entire fleet yes yes uh, I I do recall doing something similar myself mm -hmm. also none of my sniper beam frigates got destroyed which kind of surprised me. Which which can only mean that uh, they were never targeted. Well, and there it goes. Okay. We'll we'll talk more about the large scale uh, and how it affects battles in this game next time. On expert. On expert. Yes. Uh, did you enjoy this map when you played it? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so um, until then. We'll bring you more of this map uh, on our next upload. See ya. See ya.